My client found this old hutch. She found a picture on Pinterest and she wanted to see if I could make it work. I think I did it. So my daughter, who's homeschooled, decided at the last minute that she wants to go to the mistletoe. It's like a formal dance that the high school here has and her friends invited her and she kept going back and forth. She decided last minute. So now we're having to stop everything in, in the midst of a very busy schedule and go get her a dress. I took the back off. I took the glass out. I cleaned it really well and then I grabbed some little black dress and I applied it to certain sections. Here we are. Of course we're gonna try to thrift a dress, wouldn't you? It's last minute. We don't have a lot of stores. We had to drive over 45 minutes just to get to this Goodwill. It's the best way to do it, especially the last minute. We'll see what we can find. So here it is painted in black. Now all I did was paint all of the corners and edges because we're gonna be distressing back to the black. We put a hole in the top because once I saw it, I thought we've got to put a light in there. And I found the perfect light fixture in Lowe's. Thanks to my special, wonderful, beautiful husband for helping me to make this happen. He loves being on video, if you can't tell. Here's what it looks like after I sealed it with Big Top. Do you see how that black just pops? Next up, Marquee. What a rich and luscious color. It is super thick, so I just sprinkled it with water as well as my brush. I always like to start with a damp brush. And look at that color. And there's the baby. She's all grown up now but she looks super cute. And here's what she looks like after one coat of Marquee over Little Black Dress. Is there such a place as King Kong? Made in King Kong? I'm having trouble reading, and so I'm like, what, what does the label say? She says, made in King Kong. But y'all, we scored this silver, and we looked at it on eBay. This is gonna be good. We're supposed to be looking for dresses though, so we better go. I'm doing a second coat of Marquee, and look at how luscious it looks when it's wet. I purposely left some areas exposed so that I would have to do less sanding. But you could see the difference between what's wet and what's dry. For my second coat though, I went ahead and I put a lot more water. You can see where it was dripping a little bit, but it just helps to make it more smooth and you really don't need that much paint. DIY paint is highly pigmented. You can retain the pigment 10 to one ratio. It's amazing paint. Like if I start distressing this with a baby wipe like I normally will, I'm gonna look like, you know, I've been in a murder scene. Like it's gonna be red everywhere. So I actually used a sanding sponge, just a little, um, not a new one, an old sanding sponge and I distressed it. Here's what it looked like after two coats and light sanding. And I did leave the very top inside black because of the light fixture. You could paint it red if you want. And I did paint the hardware in black. So, I didn't like the dress I got in Goodwill. But it was a designer dress. We got it for a steal, 50% off. It was so beautiful. We bought it, and then she started second guessing it. So we went to Ross and I found the dress there. And it is pretty. 
very, very pretty. It's more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And to make everything even better, Jimmy John's. I'm so happy. We don't have Jimmy John's. We live in a small town. We're an hour away from home. And I'm happy, happy, happy. Do you love Jimmy John's too? Y'all, we found two dresses. And she was excited. And so we had to go to Hobby Lobby because I'm really into junk journaling and we needed to get some supplies and she needed to be in the cart to take a ride. It's raining tomorrow, so I made my husband leave work this morning and to come and bring this inside. It's quite heavy. And so we, we set it up, I put one coat of it and um, this is not dry. So outside in the natural light, it was actually looking pink. And so if you ever use Marquee, don't get scared. The color always lightens up and then it brightens back up somewhere in between the wet state and the dry state. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you my little hack um, for sealing um, colors that are like, like Marquee, the blacks, because once I put my wax brush on it and I start waxing a highly pigmented color, all of that color transposes and transfers to my brush. And then red is hard to get out. I'm gonna have to wash it. And I don't like to wash my wax brushes a lot. So we are gonna be using DIY Paints Clear Wax. And normally I scoop out my wax and just to not contaminate it. But today, because of what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna have to do that. My little hack is I use Big Top. Once you hit Big Top on this, you are going to re-wet it and reactivate the paint. So you could actually continue distressing the piece. You might want that, you might not want that. So what we're gonna do is do a very, very light touch. If you over brush it, because it dries quickly, you can get streaks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply wax right here because I want you to see it and then, um, it's an all natural. Now, I wish that you could feel this because it's going on, it's gliding on so smoothly. And it's good to use a nice wax brush um, when you're waxing. It's like, it is like butter. It is, it just melts. And it is so, so smooth. It dries out a little bit for an hour. I'm gonna pretend that I had done the whole thing. Then I will come back and I will do a second coat. And then the next day, I will grab my drill with my buffer and I will buff the whole thing into this beautiful, beautiful sheen. Y'all, this is the current situation going on here in Kentucky. We don't even know if the mistletoe dance is on or off at this point. But, I'll be sure to post a picture in the community tab when she has the dance with her beautiful gown. Okay y'all, this is the finished piece. If you follow me on Facebook, you may have seen this picture. I love the way that it turned out, especially beside my vintage florals decoupage table. I did put that special paper on the side. It's Pioneer Woman contact paper. Pioneer Woman is one of her favorite things, and so I did that as a little surprise to my client, and she loved it, because she collects all things Pioneer Woman. But I love the way that it looks. The light was the best touch, and she loved it, and it looks great in her home. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Comment below and let me know what you think. And has your daughter ever told you at the last minute that she needs a dress? Let me know. Thank you for watching.